I, Mason, take you, Mackenzie, to be my wife. I, Mackenzie, take you, Mason, to be my husband. I promise to love you as you are and love the woman you are becoming. I promise to love you as you are and love the man you are becoming. I promise to forgive you as we have been forgiven and support you in times of joy and times of sadness. I will honor you and love you for, for all, all the time, time that, that God, God will give us. This, this is, is my solemn vow to you. you. Well, now that you, Mason, and you, Mackenzie, have given yourselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witness, having affirmed your faith and commitment to Jesus Christ by acknowledging his cross and receiving communion, and having shown your affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Mason, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> special person in our lives and we are so happy that she has found someone who compliments her perfectly. We can safely say we have never met a funnier or weirder couple than the two of you. We wish you a lifetime of love, happiness, and amazing memories together. And to Kenzie, we want to say that we love you and although we are sad that our chapter together is closing, we are ecstatic that a new one is beginning for you and Mason. And remember Mason, you aren't rid of us yet. In fact, you'll probably be seeing more of us at our bi-weekly sleepovers, which you'll be hosting, FYI. I met Kenzie on a road tri trip to Kings Island. I knew that she was the one for Mason that day with her extreme positivity and ability to radiate joy. Hopefully, I won't change my mind after you've been my roommate for a year. <laughs> Anyways, Kenzie, I'm proud to now have you as my sister-in-law. Mason, I'm proud to call you my brother and my best friend. And may God bless your relationship together forever, and cheers to the newlyweds.